Hello YouTube, it's Tony. So today I'll be showing you a 1 to 99 cooking guide for 2017. So what I'm going to be showing you are the fast, cheap, and AFK methods. Now this guide isn't going to be really suited for Iron Man. Alright, so this is going to be a list of common XP multipliers. Now of course, there are definitely more to list. So I'm going to get into the useful items. The first one I'll start with is Cooking Gauntlets, and this is a Family Crest quest reward. Unfortunately, this isn't available for skillers, but I mean if you do have death touch darts, then you can actually use them and instantly kill the boss. So what this reward does is it basically reduces burn rates of fish, and some of the higher level fish actually require cooking gauntlets or it'll never stop burning. Now while it does require 99 cooking, the cooking skill kit retains its effects. So the next thing I have is a sous chef outfit, and this is obtainable from gnome restaurant hard orders. I mean otherwise you can get it from treasure hunter. But anyways, this requires 42 cooking if you want to make all the orders. Otherwise you can actually buy the food from the GE. Now they're fairly common to get as a reward, and so I think it will take you around 2 hours to get the full set. This basically gives you 6% more cooking XP, and it will retain the effects of cooking gauntlets if you actually own them. The next thing I have is the modified sous chef head, and this is a skilling outfit add-on. Basically there's a 5% chance of duplicate food, and it will send it to the bank. Now it does also stack with portable ranges. The problem is that it's only available from treasure hunter however. After that we have the Dorvan army axe, it pretty much adds 3 base cooking XP to everything, well I think everything except Jug of Wines. After that we have Bonfires, and they'll give you 10% more cooking XP. However the problem is, they have high burn rates compared to ranges, so it's honestly only good for Iron Man. The portables I'll be using is portable ranges, and this will give you 21% more cooking XP. There's also a 5% chance you can duplicate an extra food, and it also stacks with Modified Sous Chef Head. So it's pretty much a treasure hunter item, but I mean otherwise you can just buy it off the GE or share it with others. The FC that shares this is called Portables, and I'll leave that spreadsheet link in the description. I mean honestly it's much better to share the portables, as it's much cheaper that way. Then after that we have the cooking urns. Now each of them have a crafting level requirement to make, so pretty much cooking the food will fill the urns, but the jug of wines do not actually fill them for anyone who's curious. Depending on the urn type, it'll cap at a certain tier. So when the urn is full, you can auto teleport the urns. This can be done by going to your game settings, then the miscellaneous settings, and then the skilling options, and finally auto teleport the current skilling urn when it's full. So when it's teleported, it'll grant you XP depending on the tier, but it does not stack with any bonus XP. So essentially you're looking at around 20% XP boost overall. For anyone who's curious, as of an update in August 2017, the empty urns are now stackable. They also have no crafting level requirement to teleport. In addition to this, you can also use an urn enhancer, and that is a nomad quest reward. After completing the quest, you'll need to unlock a blueprint to craft it. So what this thing does, is it boosts your teleporting XP of urns by 25%, and it costs you 20 divine charges each. So honestly this is very cheap and it's well worth having. Finally the last thing I'll talk about is the flameproof aura, and this aura basically reduces the burn rates of food. I mean we have cooking gauntlets, which really reduce the burn rates. I would say maybe if you have spare loyalty points, just get the tier 1 aura, since it's only like 5k. Alright so here's a strategy on how I do my cooking. So you're going to set your bank preset of your inventory. This is what it should contain. One used cooking urn, as well as one unused cooking urn. Then you pretty much just fill the rest with raw fish. Now if you have an urn enhancer, then you can also use that as well. Don't forget to auto teleport the full urns. So just go to your game settings, and then your miss settings, then the skilling options, and then you'll see that option that auto teleports the skilling urn when it's full. So every time you hit a bank preset, just click on the portable range immediately after loading. This basically starts the cooking slightly faster. You also want to hold the spacebar. So ideally in order to set this up, just angle your camera so that way you can left click it immediately. So yeah, pretty much just AFK this. There's also a faster option which is called the 3 tick method. So cooking normally takes you 4 ticks, but instead you can make it 3 ticks. So how this whole thing works is for every one piece of fish you cook, you just want to left click your portable range again, then hold the spacebar. So you're just going to keep repeating the process for each and every single fish cooked until the next inventory. Now as you can see this is somewhat click intensive, so I'm not sure whether it's worth it to you or not. I mean I don't personally mind, but I guess a lot of you would. So let's get into the training methods. From 1 to 15 you're going to be doing shrimps and crayfish. The base XP you'll be getting is 30 XP each, and the amount you need is only 66. After that from level 15 to 30 you'll be doing trout, and you'll be getting 70 XP each trout. Then the amount you'll need is just 128. From level 30 to 52, you're going to be doing tuna, and the base XP you'll be getting is 100. With that being said, you'll be needing 763. The amount of XP per hour if you're AFKing is 197.4k, and then the amount of XP per hour if you're non-AFKing, that would be 260.8k. So from level 52 to 80, 
you're going to be doing Desert Souls. Now at this point, I would say go after the full chef outfit. So anyways, this is the new Manaphos fish. Now it's fairly cheap, but it can actually take a while to buy in bulk from the GE. So you may have to buy for higher than GE price. But anyways, the base XP you get is 142.5, and the amount you need is 8,658. So for the XP per hour you can get from AFKing, that would be 301k. And for non-AFKing, that's almost 400k XP per hour. Otherwise, for the traditional methods, you can stick with lobsters, since they're actually faster to buy. The only problem is that their profit loss is higher than this, and they give you less XP. From 80 to 90, you're going to be doing beltfish. And once again, this is the new Metaphos fish. So I know it's fairly cheap, but it can take a while to buy. So you may have to buy for higher than GE price. So the base XP you'll be getting for this is 165, and the amount you need is 13,523. For the XP per hour if you're AF King, you get 347k. Then for the non-AF King method, you'll be getting almost 460k XP per hour. I mean otherwise if you don't like this method, then you can start doing sharks earlier. So from 90 to 93, or you can go all the way to 99, you're going to be doing sharks. The base XP you'll be getting is 210, so you'll be needing 5868 to level 93, and 24392 to level 99. The reason being is that the burn rates are very high for rock tails if you don't have cooking gauntlets. So you can get 441k XP per hour if you're AFKing, and 583k XP per hour if you're non AFKing. Finally, from level 93 to 99, we have the Rock Tails, and they'll give you a base XP of 225. The amount you'll be needing total is 17,304. Now the level it stops burning is level 94, that is if you're wearing cooking gauntlets. Otherwise it'll never stop burning, but I mean if you're level 99 cooking, you can just use cooking cape. So the XP per hour you can get from AFKing this is 472k, and for non-AFK, that would be almost 625k XP per hour. Additionally, we have the jug of wine method, and this will be done from level 35 all the way to level 99. It'll give you 201 base XP, and the amount you'll be needing is 64,737. So you can make 5,100 wines per hour, and this will give you a whopping 1.1 mil XP per hour. Now I highly do suggest you use as many XP multipliers as possible, because I mean this is very expensive, and it's of course very fast. Now for anyone who is curious, the cooking urns, portable ranges, and the Dorvan army axe do not actually work with this. So honestly this method is very costly, so it may not be worth it. So we have the cooking brawling gloves. This will last 1100 uses every glove. So the fastest and best way to use this is at the northeast corner wilderness, as there is a nearby banker to use. So you'll be pretty much deploying the portable ranges as well as the rock tails. So honestly you can get a whopping 2.2 mil cooking XP per hour. Now I do have a full guide on this, and I'll leave that link in the description. So in conclusion, I'm going to get into the total costs. The prices are accurate as of November 6, 2017. I have not factored in the burn rates here, as there are way too many variables. For the total costs, it won't differ by much. I mean a lot of you guys have XP multipliers anyways. So for Jugga Wines, it'll cost you a total of 188 mil to get to level 99. For a more realistic method, this will only cost you 17.8 mil. Now I have factored in the cost of urns, as for the Manifos fish, I gave it a worst case scenario, which is negative 500 profit each fish. The thing is, I know a lot of people fish this for reputation, but yeah, it's been a pretty cheap price like this for many months. So with all that being said, overall cooking is a very cheap and fast skill to train, so you just gotta choose which method is right for you. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope it helps. If I missed anything, feel free to ask.